All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B, Bullet RC, coming to you guys again with yet another. Oh, yeah. And before we even get started, man, make sure you drop a like on this bit. And I also wanted to say, you know, my prayers and condolences to Kobe Bryant, Gigi, anyone that was affected in that plane crash. Got the news earlier on Twitter. I honestly thought it was fake. I was hoping that it was fake. And um, unfortunately, it was not. So, you know, RIP to the legend and everyone else that was on the helicopter. I haven't really been looking at it. I kind of stayed off of Twitter after I talked about it. Um, you know, I don't know. I just, it's just kind of hard to believe. So I say all that just to say salutes. And um, of course, today in the back of the video, I will have the good old Kobe 8 Mama Curios, one of my favorite Kobe's ever that I still have. They'll be sitting in the back. And also, I just wanted to quickly update you guys. Brand new Sample Industries drop, Consume By The Light hoodies. These will be dropping on February 1st at 8 p.m. EST. If you guys want more info, I will link the lookbook down below. The ad is always at S-M-P-L-I-N-D to stay up to date, get all the updates, all that good stuff. And listen, I mean, y'all see the hoodie right here. I mean, the quality on this to fit is a 320 GSM French Terry fleece, and it's actually a wash fleece, so every hoodie is a one-on-one as y'all can see it is a drop shoulder like i said it does fit a little bit wider a little bit oversized you got the graphic on the front front pockets a little bit of embroidery a new si sample industries logo down there and if you flip to the back you also get sample industries with the knife on the back like i said as far as quality goes this joint is on a whole another level i've been wearing the sample of this hoodie that wasn't washed in some other videos people have been asking me so february 1st 2020 the hoodie is dropping link is down below to lookbook and um, listen keep this one away from your girl your significant other whatever trust me the oversized fit is cozy trust me this one will get stolen now let's get back to the video bro the weekend is almost over so you know what time it is man let's get into this week's heat or hype where we get into the latest sneaker releases sneaker rumors or anything i want to talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world that is what we do here today and remember if i don't talk about a shoe either i forgot about it didn't edit in or it was just that basura that i did not want to expose y'all to it but again just like every week 2020 i'm still the same guy i'm still exposing you to it now this week we got some basura that is on another level we just started 2020, and every week we've had some crazy basuda on the list, and this week does not disappoint at all. So listen, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this week's he or hi. And another friendly reminder before we get into this, make sure you drop a like on this bit. Now, first shoe we got is the Air Jordan 9. Now, I believe they were calling it the Light Graphite, but we just know it as the Eraser Blue. These dropped, I'm not a big fan. It's not the worst Air Jordan 9 colorway out there. It's just not something I was looking forward to. I don't wanna spend a lot of time on it. I saw it, it was okay, and I passed on it. A lot better sneakers that I'd rather save my money for than this nine right here. Up next, we just got some updates on the brand new Sean Weatherspoon and Asics collab. We just got a lot better photos of the shoe, the Velcro patches that are gonna go on to it, and it also has an Atmos patch. So I'm not sure if it's Sean Weatherspoon, Atmos, and Asics. I'm assuming that's what the case is gonna be. Again, we just have photos from him. We don't have a lot of info, and we definitely don't have a release date on these. Y'all let me know though, are y'all still feeling the corduroy thing? You guys think he should leave that? Like I said before, um, that just might be his his thing. That might be his theme, and that's what he's sticking to. I think they look clean. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Am I going to be going super crazy trying to grab them? Probably not. I'll try, but if I don't get them, it's cool. It's it's not the 97s, in my opinion, for sure. Next up, we got a brand new Nike model, which is going to look familiar, and this is the Nike Air Max React 270. This one is coming in in a neon colorway, and it is ENG at the end of that name, so I'm assuming it's an Air Max 270 react energy and again it's going to be one of those things where we see an artist or a collab on a sneaker and then we see the actual sneaker coming out i thought it was going to be travis scott's own sneaker with this new 270 shoe but it looks like it's just going to be the same thing as happened before where it's a collab first to try to drive some hype on it and then they drop the regular like mainline colorways i don't have anything against this neon joint but at the same time it just kind of devalues the travis's even more kind of in my opinion it wasn't really like anything crazy and i already think that travis 270 is trash so Let's just move on to the next one. Up next, we got some New Balance news. And no, we're not talking about Kawhi in the strip club with the New Balance hoodie on. I mean, salutes to him <laughs> on his moves. But we're talking about this New Balance 327. Now, this is a collab between Casablanca and New Balance. And honestly, it's 
I kind of like these. It really reminds me of the waffle, the Nike waffle, or it kind of gives me somewhat of a Sakai waffle vibe in a way. To keep it a buck, I've never even heard of this new balance model before, and I like the colorways they're doing. I really like this white and green one, and I may try to pick up a pair of these depending on how it's looking out. I don't think these are going to be dropping until fall winter 2020 so we got a bit to wait or maybe they might drop in uh spring summer no real release date yet casablanca new balance on the 327 pretty clean in my opinion something different out there the next shoe we gotta talk about is another brand new pair of answer fives now this is another reebok and billionaire boys club collab and obviously this shoe is colored after one of the original board flips again i don't have anything against this shoe i actually like the colorway on this shoe i definitely like the original one a little bit better but I'm just waiting to see if they're going to actually retro the board flips. I feel like it's going to happen later on this year. But again, Reebok, BBC coming back. I think they're clean, but I still rather have that initial colorway that released at ComplexCon for sure. Up next, we got a brand new Air Max model that's hitting this year in 2020 called the Air Max 2090. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm not the biggest fan of the shoe, but I will try it out because it is a brand new Air Max model. Now, as far as this page goes, it says that they should be dropping in March. I'm assuming it's going to be around Air Max Day, which I believe is the 18th. If I'm getting that wrong, sorry, I'm forgetting when Air Max Day is. But probably around Air Max Day is when this new pair of Maxes is going to be dropping. Now, this week, we actually got a good bit of All-Star Weekend 2020 news. First up is this New Balance 992. Very familiar shoe that I just picked up. Now this one is from Joe Fresh Goods, but it is a Don't Be Mad and New Balance collab. And I believe it's called the Anatomy of a Heart. Obviously you guys can see from the colorway on the top of the shoe. I want this shoe. I feel like this one's gonna be pretty hard to get. This is a pretty dope pair of New Balances. Those really dope New Balance collabs can be a very, very hard shoe to acquire. And then the resale is a whole another thing. But Joe, the Chicago native, has his own New Balance. And I really like seeing something other than Nike and Jordan brand New Balance kind of jumping in there and having their All-Star Weekend releases. And I actually really, really like this pair. I even like some of the clothing that's behind it. So I will be aiming to get this shoe. I've been wearing my 992s nonstop since I got them. It is a dash shoe, but them joints are super comfortable. They're clean. Materials are on point. And I'm pretty sure these are going to be just like that. So Joe, feel like New Balance and Joe, they got another one. I'll be going for this shoe for sure. Release date is February 14th. This week, we also had a shock drop actually happen while I was out in LA. I was not able to secure my pair, but somebody actually hit me up on Twitter and they said they can hook me up. So I'm waiting to see what happens with that and salutes to him if he is watching this video. But it's the Air Jordan 3 Retro SE Unite. I still like the Fire Red 3s. I think that's better. Or even the Toro Red 3s. I think that's a better name, but... For right now, let's just call it the official name, the Unite Air Jordan 3. Again, I definitely want a pair of these. I think they're super clean. I've seen some people kind of getting iffy, calling them bricks and stuff like that because there was no resale on them. I just want my pair to put on the toe, and hopefully I'll be getting my pair pretty soon so I can drop that review on you guys. But again, this is going to be releasing next month in February, so we got a little bit of time. We can relax, and we'll talk back about these or revisit these in a little bit. All I want to say is I want a pair. I missed a shot drop earlier this week, but I will be getting a pair as soon as I can. All right, so before we get into the Basu of the week, we have these right here, which is the Nike and Undercover React Presto. Now, I'm keeping these right before Basuda of the Week because I don't really like them. I think they're kind of Basuda, but I don't think they're horrible. I feel like I could probably make these work. There are a few different colorways, and these are dropping on the 28th of January, so in two days. If you're too late, then they probably already dropped. Now, let's hop into the official Basuda of the Week. We got two shoes, and two of these are bangers and not bangers in a good way. The first one comes from Raph Simmons, and this shoe is called the Solaris did this. Low. What do y'all want me to say? Do y'all see these shits right here? I know we keep talking about like sneaker condoms, but these shits is weird as fuck looking. And the craziest thing about it is that this is a Raph shoe, so I'm assuming that the retail is gonna be probably 400 plus 500 plus for this shoe. It looks like a beat down pair of dress shoes with like no, no nothing, just straight up leather covering on your foot. And it has this really weird blue and yellow heel. I'm not sure what they're going for with this one. Again, this might be just above my uh, clothing streetwear plebiness. I, maybe it's just too high fashion for me to understand what's going on here. But all I know is that these shits 
is garbanzo beans, garbola juice, basura. But again, just like every shoe that we talk about, y'all gotta remember there is gonna be someone who buys this shoe and wears it proudly. And all I can say is, listen, salutes to you, soldier, because these shits is ass. And then the next shoe we got, I mean, we really could have mixed and matched them. Mason, Margiela, Margiela boys back in the building, in that Basuda building, they back in the Basuda building, and we have a Reebok. Somebody did this. And Mason Margiela, Tabby, Pump, Fury, High Heel, Sneaker thing. If it wasn't on such a trash sneaker, I would be down for it. Margiela with Reebok, cool, that's something different, even mixing in the Tabby boot with it, with the split toe, it is ugly, but that's just a Margiela type thing. That's one of their signature shoes, their signature models. But these shits come together in all the worst possible ways. This shoe right here, listen, it is only January. We just started 2020, and we already got some of the worst sneakers I've ever seen in my life, bruh. But Cardi Bull, I don't know. We might have to just mix again. I want y'all to chime in down below and let me know, would you wear this shoe? And what is one word to describe it? I mean, y'all know my one word is basura, but y'all give me some other ones. All right, let's get back to some heat, bruh. The next shoe we have is an Air Jordan 4, but this is the Neon Air Jordan 4 that we were speculating about before. And now we have actual photos. Now, the one problem with this shoe is, well, first off, it releases on March 21st. That's not the problem. The problem is the retail. The retail of this shoe is going to be $225. I feel like people are going to like this shoe. I definitely think it's dope. I like the actual gray midsole. It's actually a suede midsole, like on the cause fours. I don't want to spend $225 for this sneaker. I definitely think I'll probably take the laces out as well. I like the design inspiration from the Air Max 95 Neons or Neon Air Maxes in general. But the 225, I feel like could be a problem for people copping. I don't know if this one's gonna sell out immediately depending on how the numbers are. If it's a super GR like most of the Jordans these days are, it could sit, but at the end of the day, a lot of people are calling the Black Cat 4s bricks and them shit started moving. They might be still available in your local mall, but online, them shits were sitting for a little bit and then slowly but surely, them sizes started disappearing and people started, you know, talking a little bit different. I'm probably gonna try to get a pair. Do I really wanna spend 225? Am I excited to spend 225? I'm gonna keep it a buck. Not really. Up next on March 7th, we finally have some new photos of the UNC Blue Air Jordan 3. Again, it does have the regular Jordan Jumpman on the tongue. Now y'all should already know how I feel about this shoe. In my opinion, this is an automatic, automatic cop to go ahead and toss in the collection and the stacks. This is a shoe that I've been waiting on and on March 7th or before that, depending on how it goes, I'll be looking to grab a pair. I believe the retail is still gonna be that regular 190 for these. And um, you know, sign me up, white university blue, that Carolina blue, I will take it, I am copying, and that is what it is. Next up, another Reebok collab, this time between it, Bape and Reebok on their Electrolyte 97. Now this colorway that you guys are seeing right here is kind of like a tan or a brown and like a sailor cream kind of colorway. Um, I'm kind of interested in these. I want to see if there are any other colorways in this shoe. If there are, I might go for them. I don't mind the brown pair, um, but I feel like I would like a different colorway a little bit more than these. Again, no, Reebok with another collab, this time a lot better than the Margiela's. They're doing a lot of collabs and that Margiela one just ain't hitting. This Bape one though, Definitely like these a lot more. Next up, another, I'm assuming it's gonna be around All-Star Weekend, but next month in February, we have the Air Fear of God one string. Now I saw Jerry quote tweet somebody and say the cream toes, so that might be what he was feeling on the cream toes, but I'll just say string for now. Either way, it's an Air Fear of God one with this black and cream upper. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not very, very excited for this one just because I feel like I have enough good colorways of the Air Fear of God one, and I don't wear the colorways that I have a lot. Nothing wrong with the shoe, it just can be a pain to put on and take off, so a lot of times they sit in the box and I kinda just save them for when, I don't know if it's a special occasion or I really, really feel like wearing them. I don't know, I really don't know if I really need these. Maybe for retail I'll do it, but again, the retail is hefty at 350, so this one, depending on how it's looking in February, there's a lot of good releases. Depending on how the pockets are looking, by the time these drop in February, We'll have to see what I think when that time comes around. And before we get into the next shoe, I just realized that I forgot about the Yeezy Yeshaya. Uh, yeah, those dropped. Cool. Let's move on to the next shoe, which is the Yeezy 350 Boost V2 and the Marsh colorway. Now, these are going to be dropping on February 1st. 
still retail at 220 now i believe there is a reflective pair of these as well at first i saw it was a yeezy supply exclusive now i'm seeing that they might drop on adidas.com as well either way um i mean from the mock-up they look kind of cool like a saffron weird yellow colorway okay cool but again y'all know kind of where i stand i talk about the yeezys i tell y'all when they're dropping because i know there's people still out there that are interested in them just for me uh this colorway is, is not really going to get me out there to spend the money on this one and to go ahead and end this week's heater hype let's talk about some of these jb all-star releases now the first one we're going to talk about is the off-white air jordan 5 these are dropping in february for all-star weekend and now we just have official photos official looks at the shoe and i want you guys to kind of give me your updated opinions on it after seeing them on feet i think they look a lot better with the right fit i think they look a lot better and my mind is changing on them i would definitely like to get a pair for retail just to check them out in person and see if i would like to keep them again though will that actually happen probably not with nike sneakers but i mean let's just try to stay hopeful for sneakers in 2020 that are going to treat us a little bit better but i guess we just have to wait and see of course we got the packs the varsity red stuff that we've already talked about but one thing i wanted to update you guys on that was kind of interesting is that at least on sneaker news is saying that the dmp air jordan 6 is now dropping in february for all-star weekend now i don't know if that's just going to be in chicago something exclusive and then the rest of them drop in march but for everyone looking for dmp sixes myself included they might be dropping some in february again it got moved from january they pushed it all the way back to march and it seems that some pairs will be let go in february honestly i'm just sticking close to my phone paying attention and watching for any shot drops because i definitely feel like once we get closer to all-star weekend them shot drops are going to start happening but listen man that is it remember new sample drop february 1st consumed by the light hoodie one of the best hoodies the best hoodie you're gonna put on in 2020 dropping at smplind and that is it man much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat the snapchat is bull.cd by the way here there blah, blah, blah. of course i ain't got no shoes but behind me hold on we do we got the mom curio so bullet rc and i'm gonna see you guys next video time to edit i'm gonna see you guys in the next one like i said much love as always peace two-faced females all around me baby sorry man i thought that she was riding backstab is she a killer what she hiding get the dumping if a nigga come and try me yeah it's so used to being dog she don't know it's good sorry from the she 21 she knows good